Hey everyone, I'm Erin Demchak, bringing you the latest Hollywood gossip right here on the Starpult scene. Last week, Brad Pitt was driving his motorcycle around LA where he took a spill trying to run away from the photographers. He said he only hurt his ego and his bike, of course, but I think your ego's pretty fine, Brad. Taking a break from his busy general hospital schedule, James Franco will now guest star on NBC's 30 Rock. The star will play himself, and he will have a faux romance with Jane Krakowski's character, Jenna. Dakota Fanning was named homecoming queen at her North Hollywood High School this week. So, she's not even 18, yet on her resume she has acted in a film with Tom Cruise, acted in a film with Denzel Washington, acted in a film with Sean Penn, and Homecoming Queen. I don't think anyone else on that ballot had a chance. Sorry, ladies. Mario Lopez will host this year's Miss America Awards being held in January in Las Vegas at the Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino. His dimples may be cute, but watch out ladies, you don't want to be another notch on his bedpost. <music> Jessica Simpson disses Melrose Place on her Twitter this week after they fired her sister Ashley. She is quoted as saying, CW, catching up on Melrose Place, who writes this crap? I have had a bad scripts to work with, but this? Thank God my sister is amazing and got you some press. Ouch, she's pretty upset about that. Check out Star Pulse's picks for the new movie releases for the holiday season. Disney's A Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey comes out November 6th. 2012 with John Cusack and Fantastic Mr. Fox comes out November 13th. The Twilight Saga, New Moon, comes out November 20th. Disney's The Princess and the Frog comes out November 25th. James Cameron's Avatar and Nine come out December 18th. Heath Ledger's final film, The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnarsis, and Sherlock Holmes come out on Christmas Day. Steve Martin and Alec Baldwin will be this year's hosts of the Academy Awards in March, being held at the Kodak Theater in Hollywood. Steve Martin has hosted before, but this is Alec's first time. I think we'll miss Hugh Jackman. This week on Dancing with the Stars, there was a double elimination where they got rid of football player Michael Irvin and Iron Chef host Mark Dacascos. There was a creepy dance-off between him and his partner Lacey and Aaron Carter and Karina Smirnoff. Aaron might be little, but he was fierce on that dance floor and he won, sending Mark home. Rihanna is finally coming clean on a multi-part interview that will be shown on Good Morning America and 2020 with host Diane Sawyer. She says she's incredibly revealing, so stay tuned, it should be good. In Twilight news, co-stars Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart were seen together leaving the Chateau Marmont Hotel in Hollywood and then going to get bagels at Noah's Bagels. Well, vampires don't sleep or eat, so I'm thinking there's a little mini makeout session going on there. Now it's time to guess the famous movie quote. Each week we'll feature a quote from a famous movie. Tune in next week to see how your skills measure up. Hey, you created me. I didn't create some loser alter ego to make myself feel better. Take some responsibility. Coldplay frontman Chris Martin was apparently seen making out with Kate Bosworth a few weeks ago in Vegas at a U2 concert. I know she may look like your wife Gwyneth Paltrow, Chris, but she's not. Clean up your act. That's it for this week. I'm Erin Demchak, contributing writer at Star Pulse. Check out these stories and more at starpulse.com, your entertainment destination. I don't know what else to say. <laughs>